Today is the day Beth and Caleb get married. Classic, classic. If I drop any day, it's a classic. Any wave that I'm on, it's a classic. And you heard that? Classic. As two people who value their friends and family so highly, it makes them very happy to know that their marriage is bringing all the people they care about together in the same place. Having you all here means the absolute world to them both. Since they have you all here in celebration of their love, Beth and Caleb insist that this be the best loved up party you have ever been to. So to show your commitment to embracing your inner party animal, we're asking you all to make a pledge to party. Do you, the friends and family, Family of Beth and Caleb promise to party hard in celebration of their love. Oh my rings got way to it. You feel that? You feel that? I just want to share just a little bit about Caves and I, because let's be serious, this is about Caves and I. <laughs> Years ago, in walked a young boy with a Bart Simpson haircut and a smile like the Joker. Artificially awkward. It's so funny. Oh, After Beth and Caves had dated for a short time, I knew we were in trouble. After overhearing Beth say, you're my knight in shining armour. <laughs> and I thought, here we go, this could be the one. Can we have them each? As I look at you today, I see the 16-year-old boy I fell in love with all of those years ago. Beth and Caleb are a couple who go together like Batman and Robin. Beth being Batman, for obvious reasons. <laughs> this legendary partnership evolved within high school hallways. Beth remembers it was the first day of Year 7, then in came Caleb. And this is what 13-year-old Beth thought about 13-year-old Caleb. He was a bit of a goof and a chatterbox. He was hilarious. I mean, I just I just thought Caleb was just a bit of a goof. I thought Beth a was a nerd. Curious. She was quiet and sweet. Although they became friendly in year seven, it wasn't until year eight that things really progressed when Caleb confessed he had a crush and asked Beth to be his girlfriend. Yes, Beth is a celebrity. This year eight relationship was short-lived. Within a few weeks, Beth decided she was bored <laughs> and wanted to break up. Despite mild heartbreak, they stayed friendly. So Caleb says Beth is a rare find. She is strong-minded but gentle. She is extremely hard-working and committed to the things she values. Beth was kind-hearted, very clever, and it didn't take too long to realise that we were incredibly similar in many ways. And over all the years of knowing each other and being together, Caleb says Beth has become his safe space and his best friend. Caleb's genuine nature and altruism was always what won Beth's heart. Beth absolutely loves the way Caleb cares for her and his above and beyond commitment. This man is a very special individual, always looking out for me, always there to help me when I need him. So we spend a lot of time together. We've got matching tattoos. He's got my initials, I've got his. <laughs> And on New Year's Eve in 2011, the moment of truth came for this pair. The heart wants what the heart wants. And Caleb made it clear his heart was set on Beth when he used glow sticks to write out the message, will you be my girlfriend? <laughs> Beth, marrying you today culminates numerous trips around the sun with my best friend. Lord, I'm going cross-eyed, you have like five eyes. You are the solace in this world. I take it as the greatest privilege to simply live each day with you and our beautiful fur babies. Peach, goose, duck and pigeon. To me, you are the embodiment of empathy and kindness. I promise to follow you on your every whim and adventure, even on those annoyingly unplanned ones that drive you crazy. I promise to spend the rest of my life returning the love and protection you have offered me and do everything in my power to help you achieve any dream or aspiration. I adore and love you. I will now forever and always. Caves, you're someone who moves mountains for those you love as well as those that I love, even if you've never met them before. I promise to always reciprocate that same type of love right so back right. to you. I promise to be there for you and to support your every endeavour. This will of course include continuing to reserve my weekends to go to collectible markets and antique stores to search for anything related to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. As long as we can stop in at McDonald's or at the Lolly store on the way there. <laughs> stop laughing. <laughs> I love you with my entire being and want you to know that when I leave this world one day, I promise to search for and find you in every lifetime. <laughs>
to quote my favourite poet, Taylor Swift, somehow I know that you and I would have found each other in another life. You still would have turned my head even if we'd met on a crowded street in 1944 and you were headed to fight in the war. You still would have been mine. We would have been timeless. We're going to be timeless. I know I was quick, I don't know if that. <laughs> For Beth and Caleb, their wedding day is all about creating memories with the people they love most. They are delighted to share this special moment in their lives with you, their closest family and friends, as their favourite people. They can't thank you enough for your love and support over the years. Because Beth and Caleb have basically grown up together, they would like to mention one person who has been instrumental in shaping them into the people they are today, Beth's mum, Lisa. She really is the centre of their world and a tremendous support to them both. So thank you, Lisa, for all that you do for Beth and Caleb. It doesn't go unnoticed and is always appreciated. After loving each other for the longest time, it gives me great pleasure to say that you are now husband and wife. You all need to drink really hard and dance really hard until the end of the night. There is an extremely powerful force that, so far, science has not found a formal explanation to. It is a force that includes and governs all others and is even behind any phenomenon operating in the universe and has not yet been identified by us. This universal force is love. When scientists look for a unified theory of the universe, they forgot the most powerful unseen force. Love is light that enlightens those who give and receive it. Love is gravity because it makes some people feel attracted to others. Love is power because it multiplies the best we have and allows humanity not to be extinguished in their blind selfishness. Love unfolds and reveals. For love, we live and die. Playing with just a flake in it, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Point the flake at me. <laughs>